coming from metaverse to Helsinki, it's uh, yeah, kind of back to basics, maybe. Uh, it's great to have this opportunity to promote actually two things. Uh, one is Helsinki as a testbed for new innovations, and the other one is uh, about how call, whether it's competition or challenge. And uh, Johannes will a little bit tell afterwards about um, uh, the, the issue from an uh, organizer's point of view. But um, um, I'm from City of Helsinki's uh, economic department, and from unit it's called Innovations and uh, New Experiments. And my main focus is, is uh, to test limits of new technologies. Of course, there needs to be a, a case and uh, city interest as well. Uh, but uh, uh, let's see. Well, we, are, we are developing as a part of city economic policy, Helsinki as a test bed for new innovations. So we are opening actually the whole city for, for companies to test innovations. We, we are not a sales channel, but it's, it's about uh, coming to Helsinki and uh, testing new things uh, and uh, we provide what, what is needed, either it's uh, places, roads, schools, uh, part of organizations, sometimes financing. Uh, and um, then, then, of course, we want to act activate companies to do things in Helsinki. Uh, and uh, Helsinki is, is one of Europe's uh, biggest startup centers. and, and uh, to make things uh, happen here and be lively. So it's Helsinki is kind of stepping stone also for, for companies towards uh, other markets as well and get a kind of reference from Helsinki in that sense. And, and uh, we have a kind of four uh, vertical thematic test pits and, and then one is, is actually a horizontal one. So, so we have a health, well-being, ed education, a built environment, a smart mobility, and uh, we have a net site called testbed.helsinki, and uh, you can find more information from there. But actually, we do have people who are contact persons towards uh, the, the big organization, and they help them when providing license uh, permissions, um, needed resources, uh, and, and a little bit testing the idea with, with experts as well. And, and the, Fifth one is actually uh, digitalization in, in big term. So it's about new technologies, 5G, um, AI, IoT, XR. And um, we, we do some cases with just technology-based uh, um, technology uh, uh, questions from companies that say that they want to test technology and we want to learn about using that technology, uh, then, then the case can be from those four verticals or outside of those four, which actually we are talking today more about. But, uh, but of course, uh, you, you cannot avoid technology in all those cases. And, and uh, for example, I see that XR combined with AI is probably the biggest thing that will happen in, in our environment. Uh, step by step, it, it happens. But, uh, but that's huge changes coming. And uh, we, we do have actually two kinds of uh, ways to work. We op open uh, innovation challenges or calls for companies, and then they can, uh, um, can send the applications and let, let's see how it goes. Uh, and then in those cases, we pay the costs. And uh, it's also possible for companies to contact us from testbed.helsinki. You can find the information, but also otherwise just uh, come to us and, and explain what you would like to do with Helsinki and what kind of things you require us to help you. Uh, and in those cases, we normally don't cover the costs, but we, we do provide some additional help uh, for, for environment, let's say, we provide streets or, or, or electricity experts, license uh, permissions to some buildings and, and so on. And, and then uh, innovates, innovative procurement is something that we are, we are just developing we don't have so many cases yet, but that is actually a potentially a, a channel to investments as well, because those two ones are not uh, in way, um, investment based cases. So, so, so we do work with companies, help companies 
but it's not about selling it to to city of Helsinki. If if company has uh, ready products, then the channel is is uh, those big units directly. And in some cases, uh, we have a R&D projects we are we are running, or we have a, we are participating, and and those like EU projects uh, have also experiments inside those. But then then but the challenge actually. Um, we started with kind of innovation challenge and uh, thought that it's quite straightforward. We, we, we describe what we are looking for and then, then we were expecting to get um, a ready project proposals uh, combined with concepts companies are doing, but it wasn't so easy. So actually we, we are now uh, continuing it with uh, having an interactive dialogue with companies and uh, because uh, we, we want to involve our partners in, in the discussions before we make decisions. And uh, like we have heard today, new technologies uh, enable new innovations as well as new ways to do things. Uh, we have heard about 5G. Uh, 5G is actually not so easy thing to explain because uh, uh, it's not so that uh, it comes and it's already ready. Now we are in a situation in Helsinki area and in, in most of other big cities in Finland uh, that's quite good 5G coverage. Most of uh, the sold terminals by companies, uh, operators, are already 5G enabled. But actually what we get out of 5G nowadays is better bitrate and uh, really, really quite good coverage. Uh, not so much about low latency yet, but uh, quite soon there will be standalone networks, then, then we are talking about slicing, uh, low delays, uh, 26 gigahertz frequencies, uh, hotspots, uh, even new providers for those hotspots. So things are developing all the time. And actually it's, it's quite important to do things in order to understand the current situation and, and uh, use learnings. Then XR, you are better experts, but uh, that, that will be wireless headsets more and more, uh, virtual environments, uh, and uh, those, those actually enable potential big changes, but also enable new things, new ways to do things. And uh, regarding five, uh, 360 video, quite many think that it's, it's old already, maybe, but there are coming new, new uh, technology regarding cameras. They are cheaper, they are better, but if you combine it to, to other, with other technologies, uh, the end result m might be quite different. And, and then using, for example, AI, like in, in 5G, we have a, a mobile edge computing, but, uh, but uh, we can use cloud computing as well, but a AI in connection to those. But on the other hand, when we think about events, it has been, well, maybe Johannes tells you a little bit about that later, but I think it has been quite dark period last one and a half year, uh, not much, much has happened there when we think about live events. Uh, but on the other hand, that has been quite a good period for thinking what would those companies do next when, when uh, things are looking a little bit better. And uh, like we heard, it, it's not so that we come back to what situation was two years ago. And again, I, I copy what... what uh, I think she was from Sean, said that, uh, well, if, if you think that, that we are developing things that for people who used to go to concerts 10 years ago, uh, it, it's not very wise because we have to understand the uh, current audience and, and maybe the audience after them and what kind of things they expect. So maybe we are talking about some kind of hybrid events. But on the other hand, uh, from Helsinki's point of view, events are very important. Helsinki, it's in Helsinki's DNA. We, we would like people to come to Helsinki, either they are uh, tourists or, or people in Helsinki going to events. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, those events may not be the same in the future, and, and we try to help as well. Uh, probably we are talking about some kind of... Well, I, I, my view is, when I go to concert, the live music is his main thing, and, uh, and that's it, more or less. And uh, maybe we are talking about add-ons, but on the other hand, 
maybe it's so that uh, companies should start from scratch and uh, try to think things totally from a new point of view. They have virtual elements, physical elements, and the content. What can they create out of those? Um, but, and, and the challenge we are talking now is that uh, we are looking for innovations or concepts that add value to event implementation or uh, user experience. So, so there have been two types of things. Things that uh, make thing, things easier to add value to organizer. They can do things differently, save costs or, or add, add some additional functions to the to event itself. Or then the user experience, what, how, how they can uh, get more out of the event before it starts, after it has ended, maybe even at the same time, uh, and, and those things. Uh, those technologies we mentioned, we are, we are interested in, those need not to be involved in, in every technology, and of course additional technologies have come, can be added, but it, it's about using those technologies in an in innovative way. So it's, it's about kind of an open innovation issue. And we are looking for functional solutions uh, having growth potential. So it's, we are talking more or less about project that uh, stands a little, uh, uh, from three months to maybe half a year. And uh, it, it's kind of a development sprint and, and uh, it's, it's not, about, not about doing a few millions of euros development work and, and uh, doing a many years project. But, but after that, uh, we hope that there is continuation for that. And uh, we, 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 when we talk about event, we are talking about some kind of um, event that has music as, as a main role, but there's also other event elements. And uh, like we have as one partner, Sideways Agency, uh, sorry, uh, Full Steam Agency, they have a Sideways Festival in Helsinki every year. And uh, it's also a possibility to, to have a pilot in that next year, but it depends on the concept and depends on the arrangement requests. Uh, and uh, our budget is, is 50,000 euros for the whole project and, and it can be divided by up to one to three uh, projects and maximum per one project is 20,000. And uh, our partners want to be involved. It's not so that we order something and when it's ready, we get it. It's about uh, partners being in, interactively joining kind of co-creation co mode and, and developing it together with, with a company who is involved and of course, there's uh, expert support from, from our partners as well. And um, full steam agency already mentioned, uh, it's, it's an event and uh, uh, event organizer in, in a way, uh, and a concert promoter as well, mainly in Helsinki area, but I think they do something outside Finland as well. They are, they are bringing quite big names to Finland as, as a pure concert, but, but uh, sideways is, is, is a little bit bigger as, as, a, um, as an element, having, having different elements. Then Elisa, uh, 5G operator, they, they have been very active in uh, commercializing new 5G services. And like we just heard, it's, it's not about network, it's about content and services. And, and uh, you cannot sell a network without having really good uh, applications. So that's, that's their interest as well to see what's happening here. Uh, then Helsinki XR Center, I think you all know what it is, but uh, in, in, from our point of view, it's, it's a, both a center and, and a network of experts that they are involved here as well. And then City of Helsinki, we are proud to be one of leading startup ecosystems in Europe and, um, and uh, do things in order to make it active and, and develop it. Uh, in addition to this kind of uh, testbed experiments, we do have a, a lot of... Um, ecosystem activities also inside Helsinki, oh, in Helsinki area, let's say so. And actually, first we thought that uh, we could here present those three concepts that has been chosen and, and what we are doing with those. Or on the other hand, we thought that maybe we are not so far and we, we are launching this competition, but actually we are in the middle of <laughs> those both. We, we are now having dialogue with a few companies. Uh, regarding the concepts and concept elements. 
we can mention one. It's it's uh, Titan Research, and and we are we are jointly developing the concept uh, on volumetric video capture and, and uh, live music. There are some other ideas as well. But on the other hand, the door is still open. So so we are very interested and to hear if you have ideas how you would uh, do things in, in this environment with these elements. And if you are interested, please, please contact me and, and let's have a chat. Because um, Helsinki is also good reference and, and uh, we, we do have quite a lot of social media activities. So, so uh, from company's point of view, they get uh, social media visibility, they get good reference and uh, they get links to those uh, partners we have uh, and uh, maybe also good business because the concepts we are looking, we are not looking for concepts that are tied to sideways. It, it's about uh, creating something that can be used in sideways but also can be used in, in other similar events and uh, hopefully can be enlarged as a concept but uh, we hope that companies get success and that, that's our main motive for that. And uh, you can find my, my contact information from here. Uh, and also testbed.helsinki is a site where you can find information and, and contacts for different vertical themes. But uh, I think now it's perhaps a good time to introduce Johannes. And uh, because uh, on, on theory we can talk about like consultants, nice things, what kind of things we would like to have. But some comp companies must actually do things and uh, make things happen. And, and uh, what are their, their wishes and uh, what kind of restrictions they see, what kind of challenges, what kind of ideas, what can be actually done inside a festival. So please, Johannes, welcome. So hi, guys. My name is Johannes Kinnunen. I'm from a Full Steam Agency, which is Helsinki-based uh, music company. We organize shows, festivals, events, all kinds of live events. And um, we, one of our key projects lately has been Sideways Festival, which is a three-day festival organized at the Nordis area close to Helsinki Ice Hall. So we are hosting a three-day festival, which is like, a, uh, well, as you know, usually festivals, music festivals are mainly about music. Like you go to the festival area, you buy a beer, you like get drunk, watch bands, meet your friends, and that's it basically. But uh, since the start of Sideways 2015, we decided that we want to do something different. So of course we have like about 80 different bands from all around the world. But like in addition, we want to have like all kinds of nice and fun stuff which you don't usually like do when you're having your free time. Or maybe you can do something, but like combine everything. Um, we've been saying that Sideways is the best of what Helsinki can offer over one weekend. Like, of course, there are the bands, there are food, there are drinks, and all that. But in addition, we want to create something completely out of the box, something that maybe you never heard of before, or you have heard, but you haven't been able to see it. Mainly, it's been all kinds of fun, fun stuff. For example, we've had, like, a, you know, wrestling, wrestling tournament in the festival area, or all kinds of drag shows, uh, panel discussions, uh, arcade hall, we had like 50 uh, old school Japanese arcade devices or, or pinball machines. Of course, those all, all are free for our visitors. But we are, once City of Helsinki uh, was in touch with our team, we said that, of course, we are also interested in all kinds of new technologies, but we have no idea what we could do at the festival area. So in case like any of you have like any new ideas, concepts, something you wish to showcase, uh, try with the live audience, 
Like now we can offer you a spot to do something nice and funny. It, it can be anything from the new concept, something... Well, I don't want to say what it can be. It can be anything, basically. Uh, we have a festival area. We have like uh, 25,000 visitors over three days. Uh, we have lots of spaces around the festival area. We have small rooms. We have large hallways, uh, spaces outside. Uh, it can be combined with our... Um, like... <laughs> With, with some elements which, ha which is happening on, on stages, it can be something um, before or after festival, uh, virtual, something you can like touch, whatever, I don't, I don't know. So please, in case you have some ideas in mind, be in touch with, with Tapani and, and we'll discuss more and think whether it's imp impossible or possible. So, yeah, that's basically it. I don't, I don't know <laughs> what, what we are expecting. We are just hoping that it could be something that our visitors could find new, uh, interesting, somehow uh, making, like, super, please surprise, surprise our visitors. Like, uh, if you just want to see something normal, you can go to Tavasti or Hartal Arena to see a show. Well, that's it, basically. But if you want to have something... To... Now there's finally a, uh, a festival combined with the music where you can do anything at the moment. So, is there something else you want to ask, ask me, Tapani, or...? <laughs> we are not talking something that changes the whole world. It's, it's about... Uh testing things, they can be also small cases which can be embedded in, in the Sideways Festival, for example. But uh, I would like to ask you, uh, there were, you weren't there, but there was quite interesting discussions regarding metaverse. metaverse. I, I think you have heard something that um, uh, physical world and, and uh, virtual world some, somehow create a new world in a way, both elements are existing. How do you see it from Sideface Festival's point of view? The, the, the virtual, virtual environment and also something that lasts uh, beyond the festival time or is it something that can be during the festival time but also on, on virtual level? Uh, like, like they were talking, do you see it as a threat or possibility? Well, honestly, I, I have no idea. <laughs> but uh, I mean that... Uh, um, How could I explain it? Um, I mean that uh, we, of course, we want that people are present in in the festival environment. They want. I want. We don't want them to be like watching the shows like this all the time. But in case you have like some something you can do with your mobile uh, device or or some whatever technologies which is combined with the live shows or or. Or maybe it's some some leave you with some memory of the festival, whether it's um, whatever you can like take away with you or in in your uh, digital uh, archives, whatever. So all all kinds. Of, we are interested in all kinds of things. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think of course everybody have to accept what happens in the future and try to adapt to that. But uh, I think you have also some, some challenges with uh, uh, permissions from uh, the big bands. They, they quite often tell what you are allowed to do, so that's also kind of limitation, and, and I guess it will stay. Yeah, of course, if you are discussing with the international headliners, mm -hmm. they are really strict with their brand and their partners, so maybe you shouldn't think that you want to do something with the, the biggest artists we have in, on, on the festival billing. But we have a really good relationship with the Finnish acts and some smaller international talent. So if you think something that could go combine the, the music and the, the, your, your uh, startup or new tech, we can al always discuss about that possibility. But of course, it's easiest in case it's something that can be organized inside the festival area somewhere. Okay, yeah. Mm.
Thanks. Uh, it's very interesting to hear from actually <coughs> from organizers' point of view because you have to deal with the challenges as well and see the opportunities. So thanks. Yes. So Sideways is in mid June, one week one week before uh, midsummer, and for all additional information about Sideways, it's sidewayshelsinki.fi. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>